Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you, Pisces. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Pisces. All right, let's get a clear and concise message for Pisces. Somebody's waking up here. I see acceptance. Somebody is accepting things the way they are. Even though there have been obstacles. Someone's faith is being rebuilt. Someone's faith is being rebuilt. Let's see what messages come out. Pisces. All right. Messages for Pisces. We have warning. Don't dismiss the red flags. Messages for Pisces. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Intuition. You already knew the answer you seek. So basically, guys, what I'm seeing with this is you basically trusted your intuition about something like something wasn't right and you said hold up uh-uh wait a minute not uh not today not tomorrow not ever and <laughs> because of that guys i feel like you guys are in a good place now you you know you have um you're doing well right now at this time on the bottom of the deck i have new love okay a new love or recommitment to love is developing well, guys, that sounds interesting. Let's get into it. Let's see why these messages are here. Why are these messages here for Pisces? Why are these messages here for Pisces? Why are these messages here for Pisces? Okay, guys, first card out is the Eight of Cups. It's in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. And we have the Page of Wands. So it's something that you have lost a passion for here with the Queen of Wands, or it's an energy of, uh, you know, Focusing on yourself, being selfish. Um, with the Eight of Cups being in reverse, that's something, you know, that's walking away. But with the Eight of Cups, you know, being in reverse, that indicates that it's been hard to move on from something. Something's been hard to move on from. With this Page of Wands energy, this is, you know, wanting something new. And this could also be um, a new person in your energy. We do have a lot of fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is, energy is here. And we also have um, Pisces. On the bottom of the deck, we have the world. All right, let's keep going. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Chariot in reverse. <laughs> I love this Pisces and the Sun. In reverse guys when the Sun is here it, all things are all good either way you know there's the Sun it cannot be a bad card whenever it's in the reverse sometimes a lot of the times it's just about our perspective of things okay you know um, 
kind of like a false energy of, you know, things not being well, but it's really an energy of us not being grateful because we have so many things to be happy and appreciative of. But this is again telling me that you guys have made a decision to love on yourself with this Queen of Cups energy. And the Queen of Cups is very intuitive. I feel like you guys, <laughs> you knew something wasn't right in the beginning. This is in your past energy. And you, you know, you were just about, I think this is what happened, <laughs> Pisces. Okay, so I feel like you were like, I'm getting ready to end this with this person. You know, you had a discussion with yourself. You said, this person, mm -mm, I can't do this. But I don't know what it was, whether it was something they said or you second guessed yourself. You stayed a little bit longer. You stayed a little bit longer trying to figure something out. You were kind of like listening to your intuition, but you weren't. And then in your current energy, I see that you completely cut this energy off. Okay. So you don't want anything with them and you know, it's over. It's a done deal with this queen of wands being in reverse and the cherry in reverse. In your future energy, guys, you have the page of wands, but the sun is here in reverse. So this is you having a new opportunity here. You, you know, having either someone passionately pursuing you or someone that you're going to be wanting to date, wanting to go out with, but you know, you're, you're being a negative Nelly. So I think in the back of your head, you're kind of saying things like this will not work out. Nothing has worked out in the past. So, you know, how's it going to work out this time with the world, but you want it to. And guess what guys, this world is in the upright. So this is about a successful cycle in your life. This is you. This is the last card of the major arcana. So this is about you closing out a cycle in your life and being able to move forward, having learned the lessons of the past. You know what I mean? So now you can move on to your next relationship or your next connection wiser, being able to make, you know, better decisions. And I don't think you guys have a problem in your decision making anyway. I feel very strongly that you guys make really good decisions. Yep. So I feel like you guys are going to hold back <laughs> from whoever this new person is, but you're going to be very, very attracted to them. Okay. You guys are going to have bomb conversations. Like this person is smart. This person may be a little talkative, so that's kind of good. You don't have to worry about carrying the conversation, but I feel like you guys are going to kind of hold back a little bit and it's going to be because you're trying to protect yourself. All right, so I don't even really need to clarify many cards on this on this past energy, you know. You moved on from it in your current energy, so I'm not going to, you know, I'm not even going to go there. I'm going to go and I want to clarify this page of wands in the sun in reverse, okay guys? And guys, with this deck, let me tell you, they're kind of hard to see. So if, if I hesitate, that's why cuz I'm trying to figure out you know, whether the card is in the reverse or the upright, because some of the cards are hard to tell. And I'll show you what I mean when I get one of them. All right. But I love this deck. Pisces. Tell me about this page of wands for Pisces. Tell me about this page of wands for Pisces. And I'm also seeing guys, if some of you have been working towards something and it hasn't progressed, not in your relationship, but in your work life, that's changing as well, guys. I do see that here. Can you please give me some information on this page of wands? Why is it here for Pisces? Why is this page of wands here for Pisces? here for Pisces. Thank you. All right, guys, we have the page of pentacles. <laughs> Whoever this new person is, let me tell you, they're not only attractive, um, guys, you may also, I mean, this will be way down the road. 
don't even worry about it. But you know, you guys may have some some very good sex here. But you know, don't worry about that right now. You know, y'all trying to be too grown. We have the page of pentacles. <laughs> the page of pentacles is here, guys. This is someone who is stable. This is someone who will take their time though, guys. With these pages coming up, this could be someone that is a little younger than you. Because I have this Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. And I think that's you, Pisces. And your person is coming in as a page. But I got the Six of Wands. You're going to want it. But you're going to fear it. And this person may even ask you out. And you may even reject them at first, guys. That's what I'm seeing here. <laughs> but then I see you accepting the offer. I have the Six of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the page of cups in reverse. That's the rejection of the um, the date. But we have the six of wands here. I think that you will eventually accept this offer. And then you're going to have a, a good ass time on the date. You're going to have a good ass time on the date. Look at there. The lovers is right after the six of cups, guys. Ooh, y'all may even have sex on the first date. Maybe mm, I'm going to mind my business. Okay, y'all, I'm going to move on. <laughs> And they just showed me the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, I'm going to just look one card behind him. I think that is because the person isn't as far along as you, as you know, in, I don't want to say years. It doesn't have to be that way. Maybe you're just more mature than this person. All right. <laughs> It was the world in reverse behind the king of pentacles. The way I'm reading that is they're not quite a king yet. You know what I mean? They, they're they not there yet all the way, possibly with their money. Um, they could be building their money or rebuilding their money. Maybe they have experienced a financial loss. And they are currently like working towards, you know, like rebuilding something, maybe starting a business or, you know, trying to find another job. But that's what I see. All right, let's get some more information. Tell me about this page of wands. We have the king of cups in reverse. Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about this page of wands. That's your energy, Pisces. Tell me about this page of wands. Thank you. I have the Knight of Swords. This person definitely has a young energy, guys. Whoever this is. <clears throat> Whoever this is, they have a young energy. I have the star here, guys. Having hope, having faith. This is going to be possibly, guys, someone that you really, really hit it off with. Tell me why this King of Cups is in reverse for Pisces. Why are you sitting in your fields, Pisces? Why is the King of Cups here in reverse? We have the Sun in reverse again. There's your attitude, Pisces. Your outlook on things, man. I have the Page of Swords in reverse. I think that's the rejection in the beginning. You're going to kind of like, you know, hold this person off a little bit. This is one of those cards that I said you can't tell whether it's in the reverse or the upright. So this is in the reverse. This is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is going to be you kind of wanting to hold on to your independence. Like you're going to recognize that this is a good person. But you're going to be kind of like holding back in the beginning. And I have the King of Swords in reverse. So you have come out as the King of Cups in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. But I have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This person is going to be your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups and the Star card, guys. For real, though. Wow, the Empress in reverse and the hangman. You're going to be stuck as to whether to start something with this person. But guys, this is a safe bet. All right, give me 
one for this King of Swords in reverse for Pisces. Why is this King of Swords in reverse? I felt like that was the card. The Tower. You're afraid of change, guys. You're trying to avoid more of the past. Queen of Pentacles. I'm looking for stability. I don't want anything less than that. I have the Five of Wands. But I really like this person, though. You know, I want to hold back from this person, but I really am feeling them. I'm really digging them. I'm really vibing with them. Six of Pentacles. This person could, you know, come in and help you with some of your bills. You may help this person. I just see you guys having an equal energy exchange in the relationship. Have the magician coming out in reverse. And I have the Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm going to get one more. And the Ace of Pentacles, guys. This is the offer that you want. Ace of Cups is nice, but you want this. This is commitment, guys. At the end of the day, love isn't everything. This person is coming in with a solid offer, guys. You have the four of cups in reverse. You're going to be like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust you with this magician. Guys, stop it. The devil. This is what you always do, Pisces. They just told on you. Then we have the knight of wands. Then we have the knight of pentacles. The knight of wands, the knight of pentacles, again, a lot of young energy. Or either this just means this person is really working, but I still think it's someone younger. You guys are afraid. You're going to be afraid. You're going to be afraid. You're going to be so conflicted here. <laughs> you're going to be so conflicted. We have the five of cups, but it's in the reverse, which means you're ready to move on from your, you know, this past stuff. But Queen of Swords, again, you had the King of Swords. You're going to be holding back. Why? I have these Six of Wands because you want nothing less than success. You're afraid of failure. I have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And you're only bringing confusion to yourself, guys, by focusing on past heartache with this Three of Swords. Then I have the Four of Swords. You guys think too much. You're overthinking things. You're thinking that you can't move on, that you're not ready to move on. You are. You guys, you know, even if things, you know, were to um, say you started dating, you had a few bad dates. OK, so what? You you're strong enough to handle that. You know, you just accept the fact that the person wasn't for you and move on. So, you know, there's no need to sit in all this confusion and holding back and fear. Just go for it. That's the energy of the Page of Wands. And you have the Ace of Wands here, but it's in reverse. Turn that wand around. Look at this, guys. The Nine of Cups. I'm not even pulling any more cards. But you don't think that this love offer is reliable, but here it is, guys. It is. Seven of Swords. Trust. High Priestess. And you're going to be holding back from this person. Wow. I have the Two of Cups in reverse and the Lovers. And damn if the Ten of Cups isn't here. Mm. 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 I don't know what this person going to do to you, Pisces. But this is an amazing energy. This person is not playing. So if they are younger than you and you don't usually go for the younger type, you might need to reevaluate here. <laughs> I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. Based on this energy that I'm feeling and the energy from this card's this person is serious, and I know sometimes it's hard <laughs> to take people serious when you're a little jaded from your past relationships, but Pisces, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to get you some messages before we get out of here. This is a, whew, what amazing energy. Message for Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Mm. Messages for Pisces. 
messages for Pisces. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so dramatic, y'all. I am so dramatic. One more. Give me one more, spirit. One more. We're going to look that off to the side. This one wanted to come. So I feel like those are going to be two very important messages. <clears throat> you guys have getting to know each other. I told you, you're going to give this person a shot. You have building a future. This one is a keeper. Your love life is ascending to the next level. I told you guys. Magnetic souls. Magnetic souls, guys. It says your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. Love language. Love language. Learning and understanding each other's love languages is essential to meet each other's emotional needs. So I think you guys are going to be in tune with each other. I think you um if, and if you um you know use this as a as a as a part of developing a good foundation in a relationship. Have a discussion about love languages. Tell them what your love languages are. Find out what theirs, um, their love languages, what are their love languages. And then if you guys don't know, you know, that's an activity that you guys can do together. You can look up love languages and go over and discuss, you know, which ones that you feel like resonate with you. You have make a move. Spirit is telling you don't sit there like a lump of coal. You're going to miss out. Life partner. Life partner, the person, this person is someone that you can enjoy life with wholeheartedly. You two can get through anything together. The time is now someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move. You have higher self. This is about your intuition. This queen of cups and this intuition card is coming out, guys, and this red flags. You guys are, you're intuitive and you know when things are baloney. So I feel like you should be able to pick up on this person's energy. You're going to know. Trust that feeling, guys, that you have. Trust your intuition. Don't don't close off, okay? And you have past life. This could be a past life relationship, guys. It says there may be a past life connection here or unfinished business. Okay. Another message that I just heard with this card and with the sun card being here, I feel like um, we already went over the first scenario. The second scenario is you're going to meet someone, you're going to be enjoying each other. You know, you may have a hiccup. Um, something may cause like a temporary separation, but I see you guys coming back together. Let's look at these last two messages. Very important. We have best part, if life were a movie, being with each other. Um would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. And I have disharmony. There seems to be some disconnect. Use this time to address any issues to restore harmony. There's that second energy that came in here at the end. You guys, but there, you know, you got to put in work, guys, to get to greatness. Greatness is not, it just doesn't show up on your door. That's fairy tale. That's in the movies. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You have sweet song on the bottom of the deck. It says soulmates often use music and songs as a telepathic aid in order to share spiritual messages and emotions with each other. Energetically, you could already feel this person in your energy, Pisces. I know that sounds weird, but for any of you who have experienced it before, you know exactly what I mean. Have you ever felt someone coming in towards you? Like you felt them? I, I don't know. I have. You also have the law of attraction. Make sure that you're watching what you're asking for, what you're manifesting. Make sure that you're staying in a high vibration so that you can bring this person in. You know, you don't want to stay in a low vibrational energy. You, then you're going to draw you know, sadness, disappointment to you. And guys, you have abundance here overall. You have done the work. Abundance flows to you now. This is your time, Pisces. This is your time. Be great. Okay, Pisces. Well, that's been your read. Um, if you are here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. Pisces, 
I will catch you on your next read and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye guys.